So we are at High Rock Lake. It's about uh, 45 minutes away from Wake Forest campus. One of the reasons we chose to study this lake is because it's currently a focal point for nutrient management planning. This is a satellite picture of High Rock. And so then these are all the sample points that we go to on the lake. And these are the lat line coordinates. We're moving. What I'm holding is a, a radiometer. And so what it does is it measures the reflectance that's coming out of the water surface. You line your back up to the sun and then you go out about 45 degrees. And then I'm watching this level bubble here. And then you just hit measure, hold, try to hold it steady. And so I'm gonna save this. Actually estimates the chlorophyll for you um, and, the, and suspended sediment and phycocyanin which is um, something we're looking for with toxic algal blooms. The idea behind our project is we're trying to collect data simultaneously when the, um, or concurrent with the satellite overpasses. So this device is really important because the reflectance that we get from this shows the amount of um, radiation that's coming out of the water. So something else that we're doing is we're logging um, our sampling points on this app that ties into an ArcGIS data portal. And so we're working with a professor at um, NCCU who's kind of designing this data portal. And so I just logged our location and took a photo and we can later go in and, and put all of our um, lab analysis and all the other data we're collecting in here. And then you hit check and we send it in and it automatically shows up on this online ArcMap interface so you can see where we went and collected the data. So this is a Secchi disk and so it's just an old way of uh, basically measuring the clarity of the water and how turbid it is. Um, and so um, we just drop this disk into the water with a weight on it and we just see how far into the water it goes before we can't see the distinction of the colors anymore between the white and the black. So right about there is where I can't see the disc anymore. And so we estimate based on these measurements on the side. And it was about at 1.5 feet. So we record that as a secchi disc depth. Yeah. Reader. So basically inside this case here, uh, we have sensors that read the level of pH, chlorophyll, temperature, um, and turbidity, but right now we're just using this to read chlorophyll. We take a reading at surface level. So it's saying that chlorophyll is reading at 9.45. And then we have it taped off here at a two meter mark. So if the water is deep enough to make it to two meters, I'll just get a reading as far as it'll go. Let's see. And it seems like it's okay. And just pop it back in the water because you want to keep the sensors wet. And that's it. Simple enough. So this is the actual water sample that we're collecting. Um, so we fill up the water in these bottles. Um, and so then the water that we get from here will be analyzed in the lab for different uh, properties like chlorophyll um, and sediment. Um, and so there's a lot of precautions that come with handling the bottles. So we're supposed to wear gloves when we handle them and the tape uh, just tells us which sample site this is from and makes it easier to process later on. 
first we just go ahead and rinse the bottle. Make sure that's nice and clean. grab that sample we put it in the cooler over there on ice to make sure we preserve the sample properly before it's tested in the next 24 hours.